So my advice is is not to put all your eggs in one basket. Don't just trust the trainer where you turn up. The website's a wonderful thing now, and a website designer can make every business look fantastic. But when you turn up to a, a container in the side of a car park, and that's where you're going to sit when it's peeing down with rain, or it's boiling up, you're overheating, and that's your place. And they bring out these little camping stalls for you to sit on you know it really isn't the right environment to learn so do your research find a good training school one that's got good facilities and and toilets um and and basically you know what you're trying to do is is to develop yourself as well so don't put all your trust in the instructor because that's not going to help you to to develop and be the best that you can be so some home study is important the trainer you, is, you can only give you as much or she has got knowledge to give you. And that means that if they're low level trainers, they're going to give you low level guidance. You know, so look for trainers who are high level, who have got advanced qualifications, who know what they're doing. You know, a good, re, a good rapport with them as well is needed. So go and visit them, have a chat with them. You know, can you get hold of them on the phone? That's another thing. Because a lot of a lot of training schools, you can't get hold of them on the phone. So you want to be able to, to to develop your your process from CBT to test. And most importantly, I would say join Motorcycle Riders Hub. It will pay dividends in the long run, and what it will do is give you the foundation that you need for your safety for the rest of your riding career.